Welcome to the first episode of our new series, Today's Three Hot AI News. This is not a place where we just read headlines. This is where, in just a few minutes, we go through the most accurate and important events happening in the world of artificial intelligence, things that can change the future of this industry, and maybe even your own career path. So, if you're not looking for Twitter rumors and you actually want to know what really happened today, fasten your seatbelts. Let's jump into the three stories that made a lot of noise today. Before we get into the first news story, I want to show you a tool that can save game developers and concept artists a huge amount of time. These past few days, I've been working with Holopix AI, a complete game art creation platform that needs no prompt skills at all. You simply choose your style, upload a reference if you want, and Holopix instantly gives you consistent, production-ready commercial use assets. For this video, I'm focusing on the European cartoon style model because this style is extremely popular in modern game design and works works perfectly for character creation. Inside the one-click generation tool, you select the style model, choose your aspect ratio, 1 to 1 for icons, 3 to 4 for characters, or 16 to 9 for scenes, and Holopix handles the rest. No complex settings, no long workflow. To test it, I uploaded a very simple reference image, clicked generate, and the final result was impressive. A clean, detailed, game-ready cartoon character that you can use directly in a real production pipeline. If you want to try it, Holopix AI gives you 200 free credits to create your first game asset instantly. Link is in the description. Create your first production ready character today. The first news is about a major update from OpenAI. A few days ago, two new features were introduced and both of them can reshape the future of their models. The first is an internal multi-agent system. This means ChatGPT can run several models and several agents simultaneously in a single request. One for data analysis, one for writing, one for design, one for research, and all of them come together in one coordinated output. The second feature is the new vision enhancement section. With a simple photo, you can generate a much more detailed, natural, and high-precision version of the same image. This is exactly what many people said models like Midjourney don't have. And now, OpenAI has officially stepped into the image generation competition. But Google isn't sitting still either. The early version of Gemini Ultra for mobile has been released, though it's not available to everyone yet. The important thing is this. Running Gemini Ultra on a phone basically means having a model at the level of a powerful computer running smoothly on mobile. The result? More accurate live translation, better summarization, and even simple image generation right from your phone. In my opinion, the real AI battle of 2025 between OpenAI and Google isn't going to be on desktop anymore. It's going to be on mobile. The third news is about a new update for VO 3.1, something called Quality Boost. This feature works on short five-second clips. If the clip looks slightly artificial with one click, all the lighting, textures, and movement become more natural, almost as if the video was recreated with a stronger model. This is exactly what YouTube Shorts and TikTok creators have been waiting for, and if VO continues in this direction, it can seriously become a competitor to Sora. And that was today's three hot news stories. If you enjoyed this format, let me know so we can continue, because the speed of progress in AI is increasing every single day. Keep your mind open, and always stay one step ahead of the future. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.